Good morning, you guys. I haven't been on here for a minute. Made a video. <laughs> Sorry. Still waking up. <laughs> My first cup of coffee. But um, I just want to get on here, see how you guys are doing. The few that I know that watch my videos. Um, and also let you know a little update on my projects. So as far as my Wounded Knee uh, documentary that I was working on, the few people that I had um, to interview for that, they every time you know I try to get a hold of them, they're busy or it's um, also because of COVID. You know, people are really just um, want to be safe, and I completely understand that. There's another project. <clears throat> that I'm working on uh, last year about this time there was these two boys that went missing and um, well they were like not boys but young adults they went missing and I seen a post about it so you know Whenever I see anything about people that are missing and it's in my area, I want to try to help as much as I can in any way that I can. Um, so, sorry. So sorry. I'm just waking up. But, um,. So these boys were missing, right? And <clears throat> I thought, you know, there's um, there's a lot of people that are missing in our area. So if I could get a um, a, a direct uh, contact and interview with anybody any of the parents or the family members of these missing people and do a interview with them and um, that basically just let them talk about you know about their loved one and the details on when they went missing and where they went missing and I feel like if I could do that and I can <clears throat> get the video out there to let people know that you know whenever somebody goes missing it's just like a month or so and then the story is gone and everybody just like moves on with their lives and that's where I feel like we have to continue we have to continue to search we have to continue until we find out more about what, why, when, where, why. <clears throat> and that's where I want to, uh, that's where I want to, uh, do an interview with her, with the mother of one of these boys that went missing. If I could do this interview and, um, shed some light on it again, and my, uh, my page here, on YouTube and also um, get it shared on on all social medias with Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and just get it shared out there to let people know maybe there was somebody that was passing through here through our reservation at the time and seen something that was out of the ordinary. And mind you, when they went missing, it was how it is now. 
which is cold as fuck, snow, and um, I feel like if I could, if I could just get more people to look at the stories, and even if I can get more interviews with other parents that have kids missing that are locally in my area to where I could go to them and interview them. That would be, that would be awesome. So that's what I'm working on right now. Um, I'm waiting to get a better, uh, I mean, I have this phone, but I want to ha be able to have more, um, better quality. And, um, <clears throat> so hopefully by next month, I'm guessing, is whenever I can have get a better phone and um, maybe even just a GoPro and do it that way through a Go GoPro and also um, just up upgrade my own equipment to make these videos to be seen and be heard the way that I want them to be seen and heard instead of just okay well this is all I got so this is what we're gonna use I don't want it to be like that I want it to be legit you know what I mean legit quality so you guys can see and um, the more the more um, the more better quality the more people I think will it will attract their attention to watch so that's what I'm working on and I'm going to try to get in contact with a couple of other people in Rapid City that to see if I can interview them about their missing and murdered people, their family members. Um, you know, my I don't have like a set variety of oh, I only do this, or I only do this type of documentary, or I only like these type of videos. Like, I'm somebody that has interest in anything that has to do with uh, just human rights in general. And, um, the Mother Earth, you know what I mean? Anything that has to do with our basic needs and our basic um, way of living with on this earth. I'm really interested in anything, um, any type of, any type of uh, documentary. I love documentaries, and I have this. Um, I have so many ideas that I just want to put out there, so people could see what I see and people can see it how I see it you know because whenever you open up your mind to new ideas to new things and to um, really engage in other people's cultures and other people's traditions and um, and just the human interaction in general is really awesome so that's what I just want to put out there on my videos. I want to show people what I see and how I see it. Because nobody sees anything the same, you know. And everybody, I feel like there's so many people that that judge based off of how they grew up. They're not too much open-minded to, okay, where they want to understand where this person is coming from. It's either... You're gonna believe and see what I want, what I see, and you're gonna. I want you to believe how I believe. You know, like the, um, just like the Trump mind way of thinking. Like it's it's either that way or nothing. But I'm not like that. I'm more of open-minded to everything. Um, open-minded to people, places foods, languages, everything. I like to explore and like to know. 
you know, if, if I, like, inside, if I, like, have a problem with um, somebody and what they said or what they did, I directly just try to look inside myself, like, why does that bother me? And why does that hurt so much? And it's more of, I look at myself, like, why? And um, I try to figure it out for myself, like why I don't like something, or why does why does um, people somebody saying something like that hurt me? And I just try to look deep, 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 like back in my childhood days, back, um, and I and then I figure it out for myself. Then I know why. I know exactly why that bothers me. I know exactly why that that made me feel some type of way. And then I'm like, really like, um, I think more people should be doing that and, and taking a good look at themselves first before they place the judgment to see why they don't like something. Cause, because most likely, 100% of the time, it is you. It is just the person. And that they're so quick to say you, 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 you. No, it's really just the person themselves and um, and their their own insecurities, their own traumas, their own everything. And like I said before, like in my um, my video I made about PTSD, like that's real like that's a real thing for me like i'm traumatized by relationships and by by uh people and things that they have done to me and so my wall is completely up my wall is up and where i like i know my boundaries and i know what i can handle and i know what i can't handle so i don't put myself in situations that i'm like feeling uncomfortable you know what I mean I more likely would just not go there because I know how I'm gonna react and I know I haven't dealt with it yet I haven't well I, I know I dealt with it but I mean I haven't really been able to be like yeah I'm okay yeah everything is is uh good because it's not you know there's still um things in my in my life that i i have a hard time i have a hard time with myself actually crossing over and trying to um trying to fit in and even just like recently this um whole thing with the uh, uh like dating and I just can't I I don't know why I'm just I'm just not like um, ready I'm not ready for a relationship I know this I know I'm not ready because I feel like whenever um, I get triggered really easy I get like if somebody is telling me, um, like, if somebody just, like, tries to, any, like, any little type of bit, try to, like, control me, then it's just, like, boom. It's just instant trigger. It's an instant, um, it's an instant, like, not attracted no more, you know, because of what I've been through it's not that person it's me it's it's like everything that I've been through in relationships with um, having them be insecure and having them you know trying to control me you do this you do that or you can't do that or you can't talk to this person and you can't talk to that person and um, whenever a new person comes along and then they try to do that and then it's like, uh, like you don't, 
they don't know, you know, they don't know what, what I've been through, but, um, I just, I just said, yeah, I'm just like, not ready, I'm not, I know I'm not, because if somebody is going to come into my life and instantly try to control me, and then that's where I get, um, I get turned off, like, automatically, because it's scary, <laughs> anyways. I'm just not ready for a relationship. I mean, if they're trying to control me like that, I, I'm more attracted. I'm more attracted to somebody that just wants to love me and just wants to care for me and just wants to be there with me. I'm more attracted to that than the, why aren't she answering my calls? Than the, where was you? Um, why aren't you texting me back? Like, like that right there is just like, mm, yeah, I just shut down. I just basically, I, I don't want to reply. I don't want to talk. I don't, and it's not their fault because they don't, they don't know, but it's, it's just me. So that's why I'm just like, man, I am not ready for a relationship. <clears throat> But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to update you guys on on all of that, on my my uh, my whole experience. I wanted to do this interview, but next month, next month is going to be the month that I get this interview and that I get it out there for you guys. To watch and who knows maybe maybe you guys will get um, some type of inspiration out of it I don't know but yeah I'm gonna cut the video short right here and I'll talk to you again all right you guys be safe take care of each other love each other. Love each other.